Okay, I'm gonna click Underlord and look at that. Sound good, look good, repurpose, publish, and right. Okay, these are all things that we as content creators want an AI tool to do for us, but how well can this tool do it for us? And is this even a good thing? Today we're exploring Underlord, a new AI powered assistant inside of Descript, a tool that I've been using for a while, but this is said to do a lot more. So we're gonna explore that. This is my first time looking at Underlord. So let's look at it together and let's see how useful this thing may or may not be. Let's dive in. All right, let's use Underlord to sound good or sound better. So I'm gonna click play on a video. I want you to listen to the audio and see if you could notice something. Hey everybody, it's Pat Flynn here. Um, I've been an entrepreneur for nearly 20 years now, which is crazy. And I wanna thank you for watching this video. All right, so that audio was recorded using my MacBook Pro mic, so it sounds a little tinny. However, even if you don't have a professional studio mic, you could sound like you're in a studio by just simply clicking on Studio Sound right here. So I'm gonna click Studio Sound, we're just gonna hit play and... Hey everybody, it's Pat Flynn here. Um, I've been an entrepreneur for nearly 20 years now, which is crazy. And I wanna thank you for watching this video. I approve, that actually sounded incredible. Now, another thing that Underlord can do is help you remove filler words. Now, this is something that Descript allowed us to do before, but it wasn't intuitive. Now, it's just right here, remove filler words. So I'm gonna hit remove filler words. It automatically highlighted the um here between my name and I've been an entrepreneur. So I'm gonna hit remove all and let's play from the beginning. Hey everybody, it's Pat Flynn here. I've been an entrepreneur for nearly 20 years now, which is- so It does a jump cut. The video edits when you edit the transcript. That's the power of Descript. But now with Underlord, it's seemingly more powerful. So let's keep going. All right, next we want to look good. And it's best practice to look at the camera lens when you're recording, of course. But what if you have a script or something that you wanna read off of? Well, then your eyes are gonna look down like this and it looks kind of weird. But guess what, you can cheat a little bit. Using eye contact, check this out. I recorded a video where I was looking down the whole time. Hey, so imagine I'm actually reading something off my computer here, but if I were to click a button, which is what we're gonna do right now, so let's go back and hit eye contact and watch my eyes. They're up now. Let me turn that off, on. All right, let's see just how natural this looks in real time. Hey, so imagine I'm actually reading something off my computer here, but if I were to click a button, I'm looking at the camera, but I've been staring down this whole time, so I'm blinking now to try to mess it up. We'll see what happens. That's actually really impressive, more impressive than I thought it was gonna be. So you can actually read something off your computer while looking down, use this tool, maybe if you find that during a, a solo podcast episode or a video, you just seem to be staring down too much, you can use eye contact, stare right back up. That's pretty good. Let's see what else Underlord has to offer. Okay, you can center active speakers, so if you have a video with a number of different speakers, you can have it uh, kind of forced to show front and center the person who's speaking, which is kind of cool. Green screen, which I don't have behind me. Um, automatic multi-cam. I only have one camera angle, so it's not doing any of that. Generate an image using Underlord. Let's do that, see what happens. All right, describe image. How about um, a golden retriever riding a skateboard? Why not? Now, this is really cool. Descript has its own built-in media gallery or media library that you can choose a lot of stock photos that are built into the system for. So uh, that helps with a lot of B-roll and things like that and any templates that you might wanna make. But being able to actually generate an image like you would on Dolly or Midjourney is pretty neat. All right, so there's our golden retriever. I'm gonna choose uh, this one right here and I'm gonna shrink them down and put them in the sort of upper right-hand corner as if it's like a newscast and it should pop in where, where I set this, which is this. Uh, new scene here, so if, let's if, let's go before, hit play. Watching this video. Hey, so imagine I'm actually reading something off my computer here. Okay, what if I wanted to pop it up in the middle here, like let's say here instead. Uh, well, let me delete it from this one. Let's create a new scene by going forward slash here and then dropping it in. And let's uh, let's go here. It should pop up specifically right where it says I'm looking at the camera. Hey, so imagine I'm actually reading something off my computer here, but if I were to click a button, I'm looking at the camera, but I've been staring. There it is, and I totally forgot I did that eye thing earlier, so it actually does fool me that I am looking at the camera, which is really cool. So I can generate an image, but again, if you go to media down here, you can choose from a number of uh, GIFs, backgrounds, some uh, just stock footage, if I want like a microphone for uh, whatever reason. So there's stock video, so I can add that in here as well. It's loading, there it is. So let's say we're here and then you'll see the video pop in. The button, I'm looking at the camera, but I've been staring down this whole time. So I'm, so that's not Underlord, but it's just one of the things that Descript has to offer that is uh, really, really good. Okay, back to Underlord. Let's get out of the generate image area 
And let's move down to repurpose, which is gonna be a very powerful tool because a lot of people, myself included, had once spent a lot of money on tools to help repurpose longer form pieces of content into bite-sized clips that we could share on social. And we're gonna test to see how this does because there are tools out there that can do this for you, but can Underlord do it just as well? Well, let's load up a long form podcast episode that I have and let's try it out. All right, so I just added a podcast interview with Noshin Chen. She's a speaker, a coach, and she's awesome. She has purple hair, she's amazing. Uh, so anyway, we're gonna see what we can do to repurpose this episode using Underlord. And this is uh, probably one of the most anticipated features here of Underlord. So I'm just hoping that this works really well. Uh, I'm gonna hit create clips. I do wanna explore a highlight reel, finding highlights and translating into another language, uh, which would be huge. But let's go to create clips. And I can choose a layout. There's a number of different templates here that I can choose from as well. But I'm gonna choose a uh, top and bottom layout here. Let's see. Let's choose this one with a blue border around it. And I'm gonna hit, uh, just hit submit and we'll see what happens. So. We have two different camera angles, one for Nasheen, one for myself. This was all recorded through Squadcast, which actually Descript acquired recently. So it's all connected really nicely. So you can record a remote interview, bring it into Descript, and then start doing these things almost immediately, which is cool. And look at that. That I mean, while I was talking, we have one, two, three, four, five clips that are between around 27 seconds and 42 seconds. Uh, I'm just gonna click on one of these and see what happens. Come on, layout. Yes. Okay, top bottom layout, that's awesome. So myself on the bottom and I'm gonna hit play just to see what happens. People have this massive fear of the audience judging them, of being vulnerable on stage or on camera, of forgetting what they had to say. First of all, those captions were added automatically, which was amazing. You can actually adjust the captions over here and add uh, different styles if, if you wanted to. But going back to Underlord, I mean, 42 seconds, it kind of rates it at a star level and it also gives you a little summary. The clip addresses common fears of being on camera and offers a solution which can resonate with a wide audience. And I can even see the part of the script, uh, which is part of the whole script. I can actually go back to the original up here. Um, that is being said. How about this one? Mastering the art of stage presence, your key to confidence. Speaking and getting confident or at least seeming confident on a stage is, is a coachable, learnable skill and that's the beauty here you're, you you're not just like out of luck if you can i move the captions kind of more centered yes i can that's cool you don't know how to do this you can learn so i can just simply publish this or download it straight from uh, descript here thanks to underlord i mean these are pretty good moments that the tool selected on its own uh this is the power of ai inside of a tool like this and uh, with a longer form podcast episode to easily be able to create small snippets that you can then share on social, on Instagram, um, on shorts, on TikTok. I mean, that that's pretty cool. I wanna do this highlight reel. I don't know what this means, but let's see it. Uh, super cut, super fast, create a new composition with all your best moments. Okay, Underlord, let's see what you got. Let's do, okay, we need another template. Uh, top, bottom template. What if we do this one? It's like one speaker at a time. Yo. Okay, looks like there's a template for episode title. Let's call it like um, speaking confidently. All right, let's hit play and see what happens. People have this massive fear of the audience judging them. But we got a two minute clip here. This is really great. This is really great. And I can imagine taking a longer form podcast episode, for example, and doing like what Chris Williamson uh, does or who else does it? Healthy Gamer GG. They have these long podcast episodes, hours long. But then they also publish separate videos that aren't less than a minute, they're not shorts, but they're still five, eight minutes about a very specific topic. This would be a very easy way to do this, especially if there's like a nice template here. And I do like kind of how this is designed. That's kind of neat. Okay, let's go back to uh, the OG version. Let's find highlights. Does this give me like just text versions of the highlight topic? Uh, provide more details to influence Underlord's response. Um, number of highlights, five, uh, anything, specific about um, feeling confident on stage, sure. 46 seconds, 37 seconds. So these are not clips that we're then transitioning to uh, a vertical size. These are like just highlights that are here that maybe we can pull out and put in the intro, right? That might be an idea, find a highlight, pull it into the intro as a hook. Let's see what happens if I click on this. So by the time you get to that stage, 
understanding how to be at ease, how to have warmed up beforehand so that you're not hitting the stage very freaked out. And Okay, that's kind of cool. If I go here, it finds another moment and I can kind of go through these and read through them. Uh, they're not rated like the other ones, but it looks like I can copy them all to a new composition as well and make maybe, does that mean I can make them all into one separate uh, file? Yeah, look at that. They're all, all five of them are separate which is kind of neat. So I can have them all in one and now it's a three minute clip. So this is what I was talking about earlier, like what Chris and Dr. K does from Healthy Gamer GG. So that's kind of neat. I like that. So you can translate into 23 different languages. That is pretty wild. So let's click on that. Translate to, now is this just gonna translate the captions, right? Let's translate it to Spanish. Oh, wow, was it really that instant? All right, here we go. Three, two, and one. Machine, welcome uh, officially to SPI. Thank you Dude, to do this today. in just like a couple clicks is so freaking much, incredible. Matt. That is it's awesome. An honor, a pleasure, and I'm super excited to have this conversation. All right, summarize. Can this generate a summary, just kind of like ChatGBT would, but right here inside a Descript? Uh, let's see. Get an accurate, concise synopsis of your content. This would be nice. Show notes, right? Oh my gosh. In this episode of SPI, Pat Flynn interviews public speaking coach Nasheen about her extensive knowledge and experience and da, da 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 And I can just literally copy and paste that somewhere. That is awesome. Uh, let's keep going. Publish. Oh, wait. Summarize and show notes. What are the, what's the difference? Get a short description of your podcast with chapters and... Ch okay. Let's go. Let's hit show notes. See how that differs from summary. I like the little notes that it makes. Uh, unlocking the power of public speaking with Nasheen. That is not the title, but that is a title that it gave me. And we, here we go. We got timestamps broken down. So if I pop this into YouTube, I can literally just copy and paste this. Oh my gosh, that would save me so much time. That is great. That is great. Underlord, I'm liking you more every minute. Uh, let's see, draft a social post. Ooh, YouTube description as well. Um, draft a social post. Style, social network, professional network. That's funny. Might as well just say LinkedIn. Uh, number three, sure. I'm just going to hit submit. Uh, excited to share my latest interview with Nasheen, the speaking coach extraordinaire. Discover the secrets to conquering. Okay. Had an amazing chat with Nasheen about the art of public speaking and how to master. Okay. We have social posts. Now, I wouldn't just take from this. This is where a lot of the AI stuff in the world, not just from Underlord or Descript, but just in general, we got to still be able to include our own voice into it. And thankfully, it seems like this is picking up a lot of my voice and sort of intonation, which is great. But even still, these ideas that AI has still has to come from you. You can't be lazy and just click a couple buttons and expect great content to come out. You still have to produce great content. In this case, a really good interview with an amazing interviewee um, and have the AI then be able to take that and mold it into something different. Um, creating anything from scratch with AI is gonna be a lot harder. So this is where we have to worry about AI, but these tools seem to support Great content really, really well. Let's keep going here and finish up with some other things that might be cool. Publish a blog post. Sure. Let's see, let's see what this blog post might look like. Title, Unlocking the Power of Public Speaking, a conversation with Nasheen on overcoming stage fright and building a personal brand. So introduction. So gives it uh gives it to us in um yeah, I mean it has sections, everything. It's still going. For more insights, resources connect with Nasheen, visit her website at speaking.coach. It pulled out that from the transcript, which is amazing. Very nice, very nice Underlord. Uh, so that's under publish. How about write? So brainstorm, starting point. Hone your ideas by asking Underlord questions or letting it ask you. Ask me what? Any ideas, notes, or topics to start with? Oh my gosh. So, I mean, this is a blank slate here. So if you are starting from scratch, um, podcasting. I'm just going to be very general. Uh, podcasting how to. What in terms of ideas is this going to come up with? Uh, let's see. Welcome to the ultimate guide on how to start your own podcast. In this video, we will walk you through. Okay, so it's literally giving me a script for a video. And I can add that to the script if I needed to. I can replace something. I can add to a new composition. That's interesting. Okay, so, you know, we're getting ideas. I do a lot of that kind of stuff in chat GPT as well when I'm starting from scratch. So it's kind of cool to see it here. Write a script. So starting point. So I can go starting point, tone, audience, length. 
Okay, examples, that's kind of neat. I'm not gonna go through an example of that, but I like how we can get a little bit more fine tune there. Write an outline. Uh, let's see, creating an online course, beginner entrepreneurs, um, five less, uh, five modules each with two to five lessons. I don't know, I'm just making this up. Uh, welcome to the course on creating an online course. Program design for blah, blah, blah. Uh, let's see. And it's going. Build an email list. I mean, it's going through the right thing. This module will help you through final steps of launching your course, everything you need to do before hitting the launch button, strategies. Okay, so again, to my point earlier, this is a great starting point, but you need to still incorporate your own voice, your own style, your own stories, your own ups and downs and trials and tribulations, challenges, wins, et cetera, into the things that you're posting out there. But overall, I'm actually really, really thankful that Underlord is here because Descript is an amazing tool, always has been, but it has not always been intuitive. I think Underlord, uh, in addition to having some like really cool new tools uh, that are available in it, um, it makes getting access to the older tools that were always available much easier too. Yeah, huge shout out and thank you to uh, Descript for incorporating AI in a way that's actually useful. A lot of companies are just putting AI as like an afterthought into things. This was obviously done with the intention of helping content creators, which is exactly what this tool is for. So it helps make life easier, save a lot of time, save a lot of headaches. And if you wanna check it out too, head over to patflynn.com slash Descript. It's my affiliate link. I get a little kickback if you go through that link at no extra cost to you. And as you can see, this tool is extremely powerful, and especially the clips and just the studio mic uh, sound. And it's just, it's all in there now. So uh, patflynn.com slash Descript. Thank you so much. And hit subscribe because got a lot more stuff coming your way.